For 10 weeks, 20 RuneScape content creators will be competing for a massive prize. Along the way, they'll face never-before-seen challenges, brutal eliminations, and a couple of twists. Welcome to the Gillinor Games. Welcome back to challenge number six on the second season of Gilinor Games. Yeah, 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 I'm in that. So far this season, we've had five challenges and so far, five different Golden Apron winning teams. The level of competition this season has been phenomenal. Congratulations to you all for making it to the halfway point of the season. I'm feeling good right now. Currently, Golden Apron wearer. Finally got the win last week. It's time to start streaking all the way to the final. I would love it if we just took home every single week from here. Burn a few bridges last week. May have shown my snaky little head. I'm over this alliance. F Solo mission and f his alliance. Team Verf and Zulu are our own thing now. We don't have any friends. It is all about getting the win, all about getting those aprons. Today's challenge is something that I'm incredibly excited for. You'll notice that we're standing near the lovely city of Lumbridge, the starting place for every new account made in RuneScape. And in just a little bit, you'll all be on new accounts as well. Today's challenge is called Total Level Recall. All of you are going to be making brand new normal accounts. Starting on Tutorial Island, your goal is simple. Gain as many total levels as possible in one hour. Oh, f You'll start off as a free-to-play player, but if you'd like, you can find me in the Lumbridge Courtyard, where I'll have a Bond, three Stamina Potions, and a Ring of Dueling to give to you. From there, it's up to you to figure out the best way to gain total levels over the course of the hour. The team with the highest combined total level on their accounts will win the Golden Aprons, be safe from elimination, and get to send one team straight into the banning. We once again have an additional prize for the winners of today's challenge. Thanks to my friends over at GMG, the winners of today will be walking away with a pair of GMG performance glasses. Yeah. You guys have been staring at your screens this entire season. The competitors, the viewers, and me. We're spending more time in front of our devices than ever before. Most of these devices are producing blue light, which can seriously damage your eyes. They cause issues like eye strain, headaches, and can disrupt your sleep pattern. I sit all day in front of my computer screen editing, and not once have my eyes hurt or have I gotten a headache. And I have the GMG glasses to thank for that. They help reduce eye strain, improve concentration, and eliminate things like headaches. And best of all, they make you look good. I get compliments all the time. From your mom? No, from a lot of people. GMG is offering a 40% discount for all the viewers of Gillinor Games for the next 48 hours. This is your chance to get a pair for almost half the price. Make sure to click the link in the description of the video to check out GMG and take advantage of a great offer and a great product. The issue is the possibilities are endless. It's all about coming up with the, the most creative, best way to get the total levels and give you the advantage over the rest of the people. There's not a clear cut meta which you can just kind of think of on the spot and follow. Go ahead and make your accounts and we'll get started. Good luck. So when you've only got 10 minutes to figure out how to get a lot of levels and you don't really know what you're doing, it's very difficult. Not a lot of time to plan something that's potentially gonna send you out the door. I kind of just go into shock every time you announce something because I know we have no time to think about it. And it's like all pressure's on. Yeah, it's like being called on by the teacher to answer uh, something in front of the class, except if you don't answer it correctly, you get expelled. The highest combined total level in one hour wins today's challenge. Your time starts now. Oh, shit, we're doing a volley. Look at this game, boy. Third and fourth. Look at us. Hey, way out of the game here. Doing all right. Look at us. Oh, we just need to remember what we do as soon as we get through. Uh, can you guess which name I am? Perhapsingly, if I see it. Something to do with skill specs, I'd imagine. Buy skill spec! <laughs> I find it incredibly difficult to theory craft on RuneScape. It's not my forte. I don't really... I've been doing the same thing on RuneScape for like the last six years. I don't really add or take away anything to what I do. I basically had to trust in Solo's big galaxy brain game knowledge. 
Yeah, that's good because we're right near each other so we can stay with each other through the whole way, really. That should be the plan. So if one of us gets stuck, like at least we're doing the same thing. I was kind of happy about it because I've made a lot of new accounts, but getting skill total levels. Mm. So I guess straight off the bat, the first thing we thought of was which quests are going to give us easy levels. Waterfall, that's instantly 60 levels. We might die to the fire giants. Quest is going to be the strategy for sure. Oh, mate, we're sm smoking. Look at us. This is rank one and two right there, boys. Who can get the highest total level from scratch? This is such an interesting challenge. So many different routes you can take. Let's go. Ah, oh, sick, right. Where's soup, where's soup, where's soup, where's soup? Tutorial Island smashed it. I'm the first one trading soup. I've got my bond, I've got my stamina. I'm flying straight into pay to play. Oh, come on, soup. Oh, he's a f***ing legend. Just pickpocket the man wearing number to five thieving as well. Our main consideration was how much money should we try and make to be able to spend on skills? Obviously, time making money, probably not going to be training your skills, but you can buy stuff on the Grand Exchange and then try and get a massive total level. We also looked at doing a few quests to try and get the highest total level possible. Okay, okay. He just gave it to me. Nice, nice, nice. I got my mom. Can I trade him? Oh, yeah. Easy money, baby. So the plan was to get the 10k from the Stronghold Security because that 10k can be used to get a few herbal levels, a few fire making levels, fletching, you name it, and also to buy quest items. Panicked. I'm panicked. Our plan for the first 10 minutes was to grab our staminas, run to the Stronghold of Security, grab the 10k, and then go do the Daddy's Home quest. Daddy's Home gives you 26k worth of supplies after finishing it, as well as 9 construction levels, so not only would we get a ton of cash, but we'd also get some construction levels, and we thought that was the best plan. I got the bond. I got my, I got my bond as well. Our plan is to do a bunch of quests and maybe spend the rest of the time buying some stuff with the GE and training our skills up, hopefully ending up at the top. In real RS, yeah, that's it. We had a plan written down. We had a lot of questing in there and uh, selling the stamina pots at the start. And we thought we were had a really good plan. Now, if I want to convert it, it's going to be 460 k I knew it was that. I knew it was that. That's f***ed us big time. Oh, well. Looks like that. That's f***ed us big time. So the game plan was one of us was going to be a member and the other person was going to sell the bond and share the money. Little did we know what, as soon as you trade the bond, you bloody lose all the bloody money. That ripped the, the sail in our ship to start off with, so we were flapping around the start. Dude, okay, I'm trying to talk to this kid. Maybe there is no teleport, bro. Is there a teleport? I don't think there is. Tutorial island went pretty well. Plan now is to go to the stronghold of security. I had a genius idea of minigame teleporting to Soul Wars, and that got us ahead of the game. Okay, teleport to go. Soul Wars on the minigame tally. Do you think that works? Yeah, it actually works. It works. Tell okay, okay. so was. I got it as well. Okay. So we start, start as goes. Yep. yep. And then teleport with the vampire directly. Yep. I think it's the last option to get the teleport stuff. Oh, we're gonna learn more. We're gonna learn more, yeah. And then yes. Yes. Yep. Cool. And then just go down, right? Yep. Mm hmm. Let's go to Edgeville. What are you doing? Click on the cross. I just stamina to 80 run and. I'm booking it. This dude's walking. F off. Realized I hadn't unnoted my stamina, so I've lost stamina. Jimmy flies past saying, nice run. So already I'm and two minutes in, I feel like shit, I'm gonna be honest. I need to buy a plank times 10. An absolute certainty, we've got to do the waterfall quest. It gives 30 attack and 30 strength. That is 60 levels, that's so huge on an early account. We're also looking at ways to make money. Now the obvious choice is the stronghold of security, but we think we might sell a stamina, do daddy's home, get some construction levels, and then get 25K worth of supplies from the crate. I might die. Oh my, nah. Oh my you God, died. I just got hit a f six. Yeah, I got hit a five. No way, I crate. died. Alex. Are you f***ing serious? Alex, dude. Just kidding, I'm alive. <laughs> He's such a so I mean, I might die. I've got no food. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. I might actually die. He can hit a seven, can't he? <gasps> I made it. Jesus Christ. I'm doing pretty quick here. I'm not even going to lie to you. You know me. I'm, I'm very experienced in the stronghold of security. I've come first out of thousands of people like quite a couple times. So I know my way through that maze. It turns out I went the wrong way. Oh, I think I've just gone the wrong way. 
Did I go the wrong way? You'd think that with Torvesta having rushed this stronghold 20, 30 times, as he loves to brag so many times about, he'd know the correct like path to go. Three minutes into his run, I hear him go, mate, mate, I've gone the wrong way. What do you mean you've gone the wrong way, bro? There's three floors, there's three paths, just go. I've done this thing 20 times in Dead Man Line and I've gone the wrong way. You can't make it up. So you said no 10k, just five? Yeah, if we do daddy someone, we just sell the supplies, then we're Yeah, fine. Verf's only doing it too. Yeah. He, he just left after, uh, after the five. I'm heavily wondering if this is worth it, if the money from the quest that we get, but... I'm, I'm gonna get the 5k and that's it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Soup just f***ing zooming into my click in there. <laughs> I've just missed the f***ing thing about 12 times. <laughs> God, I'm fine. I'm walking back. I have no run energy. This is a disaster. <laughs> what happened? I should have bought like super energy pots at least. I ended up only getting 5k out of the stronghold because I didn't want to go another level. I had no more food and because of not getting the final 5k, I didn't have enough money to do daddy's home. So I had to start selling staminas and that ended up costing me later when I didn't have any run energy left. It was an absolute steaming pile of poop. Yeah, I've done it. What that? 16 already. All right, daddy's home done. Now we get a crate full of stuff and I can sell that all on the G for money. Oh my God, I got house tabs and nails and shit. How much is this gonna be worth in the GE? Myth nails were balling. Okay, got 25K right now. Daddy's home is done. Everything is going perfect right now. We're just currently enchanting rings of recoil at the Grand Exchange to make money and also train our magic levels up for potentially doing some combat related quests later on. So we're making money, we're getting stats. We're doing really well right now. So far with me and Solar Mission, and the reason why we've been working so well so far is that I'm good at following instructions. His instructions are great. He's very concise, easy to get along with. So he'll give me instructions. I follow them and it's worked out really, really well so far. Oh my God, he's telling me about his life as a carpenter. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy. I'm just forgetting items. Like I just don't have the items I need. I don't understand how to get things. There's like these weird ass planks that only exist by taking some shit you find in a bag to the uh, uh, plank maker sawmill and he just tells you to go f yourself and then you run back and you fix things and then your nails i can't break in the f nails dude i don't have enough nails left oh no this is a disaster i broke 18. Barely completed the museum. I think we put it off more than we can chew. The thing is, it obviously took a long time getting the 10k, but look what we can do with that 10k. We can complete these easy quests. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And then towards the end, once we figure out if we can or can't do quests, we can literally just spend this money on like buying stuff for crafting. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do I need then? Teleport to Lomerit? Nothing, I guess. So the plan was to use the money from Daddy's home to fund our magic training, and we'd basically just cast spells on random things as we'd go along anywhere, and eventually, uh, the plan was to do Fight Arena. Fight Arena gives a ton of attack and thieving XP, I believe you get just about 43 levels from completing the quest, and we thought this is perfect because we'll also get magic XP during that, and you get money from the quest. Oh f Where are my mind runes? <laughs> I didn't bring my mind runes, bro. Neither did I. Oh my god. Okay, go Castle Wars. Quick, 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 quick. Get your run, run Go No, Clan Wars to get your run energy. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. So we had gone to Witch's house originally, realized we couldn't kill the Witch's experiments with the HP or the runes that we had or the food that we had. So we went back, got more runes. Like we spent a, a big majority, like when you only have an hour, 10 minutes is a lot of time. And we're going, we're spending 10 minutes going back to Varrock, getting runes, getting food. Mm. I hope they're yeah, not yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. They're not strong. They're not that strong. Trust me. Trust me, we'll be fine. Trust me, I've he I have heard that one before. 
I've done the, the waterfall quest 30, 40 times on accounts before. Never once have I been one banged by the moss giants. I've already gone. All right. I've been one banged. F off. He's not gonna one bang me. He's fucking one bang me as well. He's one bang me. He's one bang me. He's one bang me head off. Lad, I've done this quest three million times in my life. I have never once been one banged. Oh, death! I've had a time challenge and you're trying to speak to me. Man's got to get his fucking earned back. Lad, we've got nothing left either. Of course, not only do I end up getting one banged by the Moss Giants, Dave also gets one banged by the Giants. Dave stupidly left his teleport outside the cave entrance because he's an absolute donut. So we had no way of getting back. So I was stood there waiting, like sitting at a duck at a tombstone, waiting for this guy to come back so we could try it again. Lad, I, I've never been one banged in. Neither have I. Neither have I. 15 years, I've never been one banged. Coincidentally, both of us get fucking one banged. Fucking bollocks, size. What a rigged fucking video. Rigged video is fucking usual. At this point of the video, we thought we were done. We had no progress. We were dead multiple times. I was walking because I dropped my amulet. Couldn't teleport back. It was ruins. What major level are you, like 15? Um, currently 17, but thinking, bear in mind, we've got to get XP from doing Witch's House. 30 minutes yeah. left, holy <laughs> But like, we've got GP. Part of the reason we sat there enchanting rings was because we were thinking of ideas. What makes these challenges so difficult is we have literally 10 minutes before we start to think and get a plan out of nowhere. So this time allows us time to think about our next move, plan out some quests to do, plan out some stats to train, and really just get over the shock factor of having the challenge announced and instantly going. Let's focus on just like getting some skills in the bag, like cooking and fire making. Yeah, I don't think we have time for everything. I think we should do waterfall over the night sword. Yeah, after Witch's House, we should just do waterfall, I think. Yeah, and then use that money and just... And then we can come down here and do it if we have time. After we sold our staminas, we very quickly realized that we are not going to have enough time to get everything done that we want. And we have to start shedding off some things so we can get as much done as possible. This couldn't have gone any worse. We're f***ing last here. Oh, the issue is we could have teleported away. Can't, I don't think you can well, teleport. Gotta get the stuff from outside. Oh, you f***! I f***! There's no way he hits me. I've never been killed! I've <laughs> never been killed! I've never been killed during this f***ing quest! <laughs> oh, f*** me! You've got all my runes as well, I can't even carry on! <laughs> Oh, hurry up. Hurry up, back. I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Honestly, at this point, I thought it was all over. It also didn't help that I died a second time when I went back into the um, burial chamber. Luckily, it wasn't too bad because I already had the game necklace on. I could teleport straight back, run over. But still, it's a good two, three minutes out of the hour, which is a lot of time at the end of the day. Holy shit! This is taking so long to light one log. Are you serious, bro? Yeah, that's me, we're quested. We're going quested like this is shit. I'm not entirely sure we've left ourselves enough time here to do the waterfall quest. It's absolutely essential that we get this finished. I think the penny is starting to drop that we are running out of time right now. Right, I've done it. I'm going for rock. Oh, I'm 30 attacking strength. Um, I. You, you fucking, you've just done the opposite of what I've told you, haven't you? Oh my fucking god. Lad, you get going, get going, get going, it's fine, I'm at G, it's fine. I, this is what I don't get, you're fucking clever, but you're so shit. It's because I'm rushed and I'm panicking, that's what it is, I just get fucking... You're fucking, don't give me that bullshit. What? It's a, it's a fucking game, calm your twat, man. Right, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, right, I'm coming back. So yeah, I'll be happy if we do like everything we have on our list. Like I thought we'd have a lot of time left after we finished everything on the list, but I'd be happy if we just get the list done. I hope everyone else is also just melting. No way. No, they're thriving. Everyone's thriving. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. No one's having trouble except for us. Okay, bro, I'm actually I'm gonna, gonna die. Should I just leave? There's no safe spot. Should I just leave? Well, you're gonna have to. We can't do it. F I'm gonna go ahead to Doric's quest real quick. <laughs> Dude. All right, so we're 30 minutes in, we got nothing done.
we, actually, we have nine Hunter and Slayer. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and Tan Tan Mining. I died. What? <laughs> I died to the skeleton doing Druidic Ritual. I died to a skeleton. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm on the first wave. I'm using these costs and I haven't had anything yet either, so... I genuinely think we're not gonna get this done. Okay, I just, I, I, just I just died. I just died. I just died. No, you didn't. I died. I swear, dude. I swear I died. Bro, I just want to log out. I just want to log out. I just want to fucking log out, bro. I don't even know Did how you to... Actually die? I swear to God I died, bro. I don't figure out how to stay spotted. I died at like a two on the first form. I don't even think I inflicted any damage on it before dying. At that point, we're just like, bro, like, what, what, are, we, what are we even doing here? Like... What are we doing here? So we left. Like, we had no place being in this challenge, so we just left. Okay, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother doing the herb floor. I logged out, bro. Ah, <sighs> whatever. You know, we've had our fair share of hiccups. I died to a skeleton, and then I was like, okay, we can, we can do this. Let, let's just keep going. There's like, no, come on, don't give up. And then he, he ends up dying to the witch's house boss. So I'm just like, you know what? Like, should we just call it a day? We've got 60 minutes. The other teams have been super efficient, and we're here dying to skeletons and witch's house for getting runes and everything. We might as well just log out at this point. <sighs> oh my God. Fifteen minutes, holy sh <laughs> Oh, I think we f this. Oh, I'm starting to think this might be a bad idea. Oh, I'm yeah. starting to think we just sell everything and then use the money to f train. Hmm. I just I'm trying to think about how long waterfall is. It's I don't think waterfall is worth it to be honest. We can probably even with the teleports and running north and all that. Or plan was to do a combination of questing and skilling, but it was really uh, chaotic and it was really hard to plan. All kinds of things went through my mind, and I was kind of like brainstorming while doing the thing. No big mess ups, I would say. Just not plan the route correctly time wise. Yeah, so I got eight magic levels and fourteen whatever levels. That's that's twenty two levels we got pretty quickly, I'd say. Okay. Ooh, nice. We got the run energy while killing the thing. I honestly think it might be better to just go to the Grand Exchange and buy raw scaling supplies with the rest of our money. Like raw shrimp, raw or bronze bars, and just send it. Like, I think that's actually better than completing Monk's Friend at this point. Just about every time Snoop announced how much time we had left, we freaked out and we had no idea how we were going to do the things that were on our list. So instead of completing another quest, I just decided to liquidate my entire inventory. So after selling all my supplies, I decided to buy raw shrimp to get that cooking up. And then I decided to buy logs to get fire making up. Have we, got, have we made it halfway into the Guild in our games and Messiah cooking sardines together? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. End of day, lad. Everyone's sweating. I bet they're not even communicating. And look at us. We're just relaxing. Cooking We're sardines. just relaxing. At the GE. We're in sync. Uh, to be honest, it was a little bit depressing. We were, we were sat at the GE together cooking sardines. They was making the fires. I was cooking the fish. And we were just kind of laughing to ourselves how probably Verf and Zulu are off with 400 total. Me and Dave thought it was all over at that point, so we were just kind of chilling, to be honest. Cooking You're sardines. Insane. Cooking sardines. And this is what people want to see, isn't it? Yeah, it is. No one wants to see efficiency. They want to see bromance, and this is what they're getting. The infamous waterfall quest and the infamous moss giant that can hit four teens me and mr guns chili we had an amazing strategy for this we hopped to a pvp world we were going to box each other we we're going to have each other's backs and box each other take the items box each other on the way out the moss giant it can't even touch us we're not going to get one hit we're going to be absolutely fine with this quest Okay, get right, right down the side of it. Search it. Okay, box again. Okay, run through. Okay, nice. All right, eat up. You gotta run, you gotta run. Yeah. Okay, uh, we just need to get past this thing. Okay, keep, keep boxing me. I already got that one. Oh, you already oh, got that one. It's alright, it's alright. Oh, I just oh. died. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, I just went for god. it. Um, okay. <laughs> Gun's chilly, mate. Where, where is he? <laughs> He's just gone absolutely missing. Left me for dead. A moss giant comes straight over, nine to the face, and I am in Lumbridge. 
and our run is in absolute tatters. We're so pushed for time. Can we get this done? I don't even know from here. We both came up with the idea just to dump the rest of our money into baby dragon bones, head over to Yalta and just see how many prayer levels we can get, because the bones don't get eaten by the altar all the time. Boom, hidden XP. Right, one bone, got me level three. Kept the bone. Level five, still got the bone. This is a good fucking, this is a big dub. Seven. Nine. Ten. 11. 13 prayer I got from it, that's a dub if you ask me. Look at these f***ing clicks, I got 16. F***ing beautiful. You got well lucky. Alright, we have 5 minutes left, Jim. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. This did not go how I expected it to go. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I almost think that training just with the money you got is better. Like I, just do I all do too. Skill. Yeah, I, I agree, but you wouldn't have known that. F*** it. Power strat. Mm -hmm. Jump my f***ing cash into bones. Dragon bones. Oh my god, that's genius. At the last second, it occurred to me that I still have cash left over, and you told me we could use player-owned houses. So, I bought dragon bones i teleported to the house and i got like nine levels really quick at the very end by just putting bones on an altar in somebody's house that yes. would have been so much better god damn it i wish yes. I, did that. I got nine prayer <laughs> nice uh, yeah oh that was so epic that would have been so much better god damn it i wish i did that Solo mission died at the Moss Giants, and he basically just said to me, look, you've got to just go on and try and finish this quest. I had one job, and that was just to finish the quest. <gasps> I have not, though. You just died so far, Joan. Nope, I didn't use Glarel's urn on the chalice. You said one minute left as I was in the room, and then I realized, oh, I don't even have the amulet. I can't get through the door. We're screwed. One minute, no. Oh no, we're gonna come last, bro. <laughs> we actually are. We actually are. We're Some little noobs will have just done waterfall and beaten us. Oh my god. I think we did horribly, honestly. No, we did bad. Trust me, we did bad. I really don't think we've done well here, Dave. Oh, <laughs> that was so bad. Welcome back from a difficult but entertaining challenge. Lots of different strategies and plans used. Some worked, some didn't. But before we announce the winners, we have to get to the losers. One team had both members die during the challenge, and it demoralized them so much that they flat out quit halfway through what? the challenge. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! What? What? <laughs> With only 120 total levels gained between them, Ditter, Bitter, and Torvesta are today's last place team. Did you even okay. leave Tutorial Island? <laughs> we do. Uh, we tried. We did try. <laughs> oh my god. Torvesta and his partner, Ditter Quitter. What is up with that? <laughs> he gave up. He's joking. They're supposed to be part allied with us, but that's so big for us. I'm so gassed because they get an extra vote in the banning. I have no idea what they are doing because they're pretty much guaranteed to get voted in now. Everyone's going to pounce on them and they've just given us the biggest get out of jail free card ever. Your team will now have one vote heading into today's banning. Just used to it at this point. And if you think about it, Ditter has f***ed up again. Yes, I f***ed up, but imagine if I had a, a really clean run, he still died to Witch's house. Has he done anything good in the Gillenog game so far? Last man standing. It's about it, I'll give him that. Now for the winners. The two teams with the highest total levels were Settled and Jimmy, and Tanzu and Vertoso. 
No, no way, Tanzu. No way. <laughs> go on. Go on. Come on, please. Please. I literally have my hands together praying. Please come on, say Tanzu and Potato. The boys have pulled this through. We need them first. If they're not first, we are definitely in the banning. There is no way Settles and Jimmy are not going to be putting us in the banning. So I am hoping so much that they've managed to pull it out the bag right here. With a combined total level of 322, the winners of today's challenge are... Tanzu and Vertoso. Incredibly impressive performance. They got 53 more levels than second place and finally secure themselves their first golden aprons of the season. Come on up, you guys. Jesus yeah. Christ. You guys it wasn't it. even close. You said those famous little words, so Tanzan would say so. You have won the challenge. Let me tell you. You know when you put that apron over our head? That was like the first time I put a Fury on. That's what it felt like. That is exactly what it felt like. Power in my chest. We're slow burners, but when it gets to these later rounds, smoke everyone. No problem. 50 levels. Are you having a laugh? So, the Gillenor Games is full of the, the best talent across Gillenor. Today, I had to question that. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, me and Tanzu are the most inefficient, ineffective RuneScape players in history. And the fact that we managed to walk in there, big balls, and absolutely steam trained it, shows a lot about the people in there today. And I think they need to hang their heads in shame. <laughs> It's now time to head to the cove. We don't have many of these voting sessions left, so cast your vote wisely. Cause I'm coming for you. Well, you know, I got some beef with Solo Mission, but this week we're going to go Ditter and Torv. So the hope here is that Vertoso and Tanzu send Solo in there and that Ditter and Torvesta get in there as well. Would be a good matchup. I vote Ditter and Torvesta because they already have a vote. It's, it's a difficult one. Even though we have the power of our alliance, we did want to snake Solo, but Tanzu and Vertoso don't want to. We're voting for Settled and Jimmy. I'm voting for Jimmy and Settled, but I'm not trusting the Alliance right now. Soul Missions told us that he's voting for Jimmy and Settled. I hope that's true. Ditter and Torvesta. Because Ditter just called Swamp a bitch when he got pulled in here. So that's my vote. Today is a very special situation. 10 people left. Two of those people can't vote because they have aprons, which leaves eight votes. There's a lot of possibility for a tiebreaker here. And that tiebreaker is actually getting last place in the challenge. We've now teamed up with Verf and Zulu, which means we have four votes on Ditter and Torvesta. Plus their loss in today's challenge guarantees that they go in. So that's our vote. My vote is for Jimmy and Settled, but I'm not confident in who's voting for who. This is the day that all the alliances crumble. My vote is for Settled and Jimmy. I think it's the last day of the Young Savages Alliance today. Welcome back from the Cove. It's wonderful to see your faces again. Two teams received votes today. Ditter Bitter and Torvesta, and Settled and Jimmy. Both of your teams received four votes. However, because Torvesta and Ditter got last in today's challenge, they receive one extra vote, which puts them at five votes, and means they have been voted into today's banning. No way. <laughs> oh, shit. I was extremely worried. I did not think we were going to survive another banning. Like, we can't, we can't keep getting lucky on this shit. Tanzun Vertoso, big decision time. Which team will you be sending into the banning versus Ditter and Torvesta? It's getting tricky because we're very suspect of Solo and we're very, very tempted to chuck him in. I reached out to Tanzu before the voting process and told him, snake against snake, put in Solo mission, make him fight Ditter and Torvesta for what he did last week. It was all down to this. Tanzu and Vertoso had to pick what team are they going with. I make the regrettable decision of being the one to confirm who else is in the uh, elimination, and that is going to be... 
Cecil than Jimmy. I do apologize. <laughs> what? Tandu and Vertoso, here's the thing with them. I know the three of us as a group, me, Vertoso, and Tanzu, we have this mutual respect. I figured they wouldn't do that to us. You know, we're like the funny guys. They're funny. I'm funny. I was very shocked for this big announcement that they had. They ended up choosing us. It was very, very shocking, but it is what it is. That's the game. Jimmy and Settle chosen for their first banning. Come on up, you guys. We were very close on the edge of voting for Solo Mission because I'm really not sure about that guy. Every single person has called him a snake. I don't know whether he's a snake against everyone other than the young savages because he's not tried to double cross us yet. He could have double crossed us multiple times and he hasn't. I honestly thought we were putting in Verf and Zulu, but then Jen changed it to uh, Settled and Jimmy because Ditter said we can beat Settled and Jimmy. So we're like, all right, we're doing it for you. Prove it. I had the feeling that Solo would win the banning. And if we put him in, that's bad news for us. So keep him in, get rid of someone else. This is a big banning. Over 1 million YouTube subscribers combined between these two teams. And one of them is going home. To fight for your place to stay in the game, you guys will be playing in an elimination that's coming back from last season. It's time for a puzzle. Today's elimination is called Spawn Camping. Each team will be sent a list of the same five items that have a spawn location in the game. The items are going to be scrambled up into an anagram, so you'll have to unscramble the words, find the item, and bring it back to me. The items cannot be bought from any shops or the Grand Exchange. They must be picked up from their spawn location. The team that brings me the correct five items first will win the banning and stay in the game. Loser goes home. Wait, can you repeat that all from the beginning, dude? Holy f so as soon as I saw it was a puzzle challenge and we we're going against Settled and Jimmy, I kind of knew it was over then for us, especially considering me and Torvesta's game experience within this ain't the greatest. We don't really know where to go around finding items and shit like that. After seeing Ditter and Torvesta's performance in that last challenge, Jimmy and I get into the call and we are very confident that we're about to win this. There's no way that the team that just quit 30 minutes into a challenge is about to win this. I'll meet both teams at the Duel Arena and we'll get started. Discussion is key. Focus on unscrambling. As soon as you know one, go for it. Try and unscramble the others while you're going for it. Organize your inventory, your teleports along the way, and then get yourself to the next item as soon as possible. So we needed teleports. We needed to know where all the items were gonna be or have some way of finding them. We also had a Wikipedia page for like findable items on RuneScape opened. So when the challenge starts, we get a list of anagrams, five items that are scrambled up and we have to unscramble those items and find their natural spawn location in the game. Jimmy and I decided to prepare just by pulling up the wiki list of possible items it could be and that's just about it i mean i have a lot of game knowledge on item spawns and along with a list of the wiki i thought i was going to be just fine all right guys this is it a massive banning the prize pool is looking huge i would not want to get eliminated here here we go work from the bottom i'll work from the top okay yep let's do it you try and work out the last two i'll try and work out the first three Okay. Here's the list. Good luck. Dude, I, don't, I can't figure out any of these, bro. Sh that looks like f dude. God, I hate this. You know, when I say that when you announce things, when, whenever you announce challenges, I go cross-eyed. Well, this one, I felt good going in. And then in order to solve it, I had to force myself to go for cross-eyed. And I hated that. Coalescing. Oak shield. Oak shield. Yeah. Oak shield. Oh, okay. I know where oak shield is. Okay. Any idea what mine is, dude? Like first glance? Um, leather boots. Leather boots. Oh, leather uh, boots. Alcarid. 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 Okay. Okay. One's red spider eggs. I'm going to go for it. Okay. And another one's oak shield, apparently. Oak shield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Table ranging guild. Okay. Go there. Go there. Go there. Ranging guild, oak shield, where is it? Uh, table by shield master, where the f is the shield master? I don't know. Okay, I've got the oak shield, got shield. Leather boots, leather boots. Okay, I got red spider eggs, Lumbridge I'm going to the, I got red spider eggs, I'm going to the fishing guild. Okay, I'm going lumbridge for leather boots. 
while running to it, I was second guessing myself. I'm like, wait, this is called a wooden shield, but maybe it's oak? Like, I know this spawn is here. As soon as I pick up the wooden shield, I'm like, no, this is wrong. Wait, what? What? Oak shield. Oh, shit. This is wrong. It's wrong? My heart sinks. Like, at that point, I knew that if we lose, this is on me. Like, I am absolutely responsible for our loss if we lose this. Okay, no, no your, yours is fine. I, I know what I did wrong. Red spider eggs. Okay, so that's Karamja. Uh, something pot. What the hell is that? Boiler pot? I couldn't figure out what the first word was because I literally, my brain shut down. I was panicking. It was boiler. I was like, is it boiler pot? What the f***? It's a boiler pot. Lobster pot. Lobster pot. Lobster pot. Nice. All right. We have four of them. Just the middle one. Okay. Where the f*** does this thing spawn? Uh, fishing guild, I guess? All right. Got the oak shield. I'm going to Karamja now for red spider eggs. this fucking lobster pot what the f where is this thing no it's this fishing guild oh it's over here it's in the corner okay i got the lobster pot i think definitely having the right teleports on you made a big factor i had the max cape which teleported me to the fishing guild to collect the lobster pot i'm pretty sure and i think that definitely saved me a lot of time okay i'm going lumbage for leather boots Okay, what's the last item? Got red spider eggs, got lobster pot, got leather boots. Got leather boots. What are we, what are we missing? What are we missing? Yeah, there's one more. I've, I've got two. What, what's the last one? Um, I don't know. And then that one is iron, iron dagger, iron dagger. Iron dagger, iron dagger, iron dagger. Oh no, Lumbridge Goblin House, Lumbridge Goblin House. Oh, I know where that is. I'm going. I'm, I'm running to it. I'm running to it. Just go to deal. Go to. Oh, I'm there. I'm, I'm in Lumbridge. Go to deal. Okay. Go to deal. I'm gonna get. Are you gonna pick it up? Yeah, yeah. I have the I have the red spider eggs and the lobster pot. I'm gonna trade it to you. Just go to dealer. Okay. Can you hurry up and make sure you've got two invent spaces free for me to give you this? Okay. I have two. I'm going for my third. You, you got the third. Where do you want to meet? Where, where do you want to meet? I've got the third one. Yeah, yeah. Um, dual arena, dual arena. Do you have your two? Yeah. Okay. I just need this iron dagger. Dude, I'm okay. at the Goblin House. I don't Get, see a dagger. They've taken it then. Hop, I don't see it. Hop worlds then. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna hop worlds. I go there. There's no iron dagger. So I'm like, oh shit, they got the one in this world. So I have to hop to a different world. I'm there at the jewel arena. Jimmy's there at the jewel arena. Whoever teleports in first, I'm just like, please, please, Ditta. If there's one thing you can do this season, just be the one teleporting in first. I beg. Okay, I see it, 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 I see it. Okay, get it, it? What, 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 come back it? to Jewel 484. Okay, 484. 484, quick, please. Duh, please. Trade me, trade me, trade me, trade me, trade me. Duh, where are you? Trade me, trade me, trade me, I'm walking. Oh, Jimmy's back. And we've got it. E. Hurry up, they're here, they're here, they're here. <gasps> no way. No. I mean, that's me, that's me, that's me, trade me. Trade me, trade. Trade. Trade him, trade him, trade him. Trade it, trade it. Trade him. Trade it, trade it, trade it. Did we get it? Yeah, okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we did it. I think we did it. Yeah. Yeah, let's fucking go. Come let's on. Go. Come on. Let's go. Dude, we were so hyped. We were so hyped. That was more hype than us winning like the LMS challenge. That was just, I feel at this point, we shouldn't really even be preparing for the challenges. We should be preparing for the eliminations because it seems like we're just going to have to win every single one. And hey, if it has to be so, it has to be so. I think we can do it. Did they get it? Yeah. No way. They got it. This is one moment where I should not have tried to rely on game knowledge and just Googled it, but I've never seen an oak shield, so I feel horrible. I genuinely feel horrible. I know that was entirely my fault. Jimmy, I, I should have done better. I'm sorry. Settled can say he threw all he wants, but I mean, my dumbass was sitting in my POH like trying to figure out what the words said for two minutes straight, so. I was definitely the weight there that he had on his shoulders. He did great considering, you know, he got the three things. I got the two. Scavenging, I guess, is not my strong suit in a five minute time span. So, hey, that's okay. Ditter Bitter and Torvesta win their third banning of the season. These guys do not want to go home. Go ahead and rejoin the group. 
we've survived another elimination, the third one. You just can't get rid of us. Just stop trying, please. Provesta and Ditterbitter are like Lazarus. Like they just keep getting risen from the dead. They get knocked in the bandit three times. Are you kidding me? Settled and Jimmy, you guys were absolutely amazing this season. You won yourself some golden aprons, had some great performances, but just wasn't in the cards for you today. I think at the end of the day, I'd have to say Chili and Solo Mission win this. Uh, they have played a good game. They masterminded something last time that somehow they're not getting punished for, but I think my bets would have to be on them. Uh, good luck, fellas. Solo Mission is a snake. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> We will definitely miss you. Take care, guys. Honestly, I was more devastated that Settled was feeling as bad as he did because I know it, uh, it meant a lot to him. You know, we made it farther than Kevin, and that's kind of what brightened our mood at the end of it is, you know, maybe we did win our own version of Gilinor games because we made it farther than Kevin. That guy f***ing sucks. Four teams remain. Guys, we're getting dangerously close to the final. If there was ever a time to win the Golden Aprons, it's now. It sucks that I'm the last of the NA. I'm gonna try my best to do them proud. This is bad because Settled and Jimmy were kind of our closest alliance this far in, and to see them go now means that we truly are our own team for ourselves. Because of the stage we're at now, over halfway through, there's, there's less teams, therefore losing is so much more detrimental now. That plus one vote means so much. Solo Mission and Guns Chili, they gotta go. They gotta go. And I've, I've, I've started putting things in action. We were already pretty sus of them at the last banning. If everything goes to plan, if either us or Tanzu and Vertoso can win the next challenge, we are hoping to get Zulu and Verf versus Solo Mission and Guns Chili. They've got to go. See you soon. If we were gonna make a move, we should have made it today. We should have made the move today, but I don't have the heart in me to betray Solo Mission when he's been, you know, pretty loyal. Whoever wins next week will have the power and that'll determine how the end of the series takes off, basically. Four teams remain, and we've been strong allies with every single one of these teams pretty much from the start. And with the reason they're here, they're part of the reason that we're here. But now there's only four left. It's dog eat dog out here. We don't have any alliances right now. We're going to sweet talk people, of course. We don't want to get banned. But at the end of the day, we're just going to choose whoever we want next week. No alliances, no game playing. We're just on it to win from here. So, I bet you're all wondering why you're here.